welcome to Nestle's Consumer Kitchen. I'm Casey and I don't know if you can tell by my festive outfit, but it is Christmas time and we are all about what we are going to eat. We're switching up things. It's 2020 and if it's anything 2020 has taught us, it's to celebrate every little thing, any chance that we get. So this Christmas is not missing us. So we're going to make a sorrel baked chicken with all of our sorrels. Sorrel is ever present, ever Christmas right here in Jamaica. So we're going to use that drink we always have in our fridge to make this delicious chicken. And first things first, we're going to grab our Maggie season up chicken seasoning. We have one pound of boneless chicken breast hair. We're gonna add that entire packet to it. Woo, perfect. I'm gonna grab my gloves cause you know it's Christmas time, our nails are done. We're not messing this up for no reason at all. Get your gloves on and mix up this chicken. And after mixing all of this up, we're gonna rest this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And in that time, we're going to make our sorrel glaze, delicious. And you're just going to use the sorrel that you have right in your fridge that you mixed you last night, that you're ready enough for Christmas, and that's the same sorrel we're going to use. You don't have to do nothing special to it. So we're going to rest this in the fridge. Give me one second. All right, guys, we rested our chicken in the refrigerator that's marinating for about 30 minutes, and we are going to grab our sauce pot. Let's get to making our sorrel glaze. We're going to add our sorrel. I can't believe when I was younger, I didn't like sorrel. Wisdom really come with age, that's all I can say to that. But we we'll add our sorrel, we're gonna add our ginger, grated, brown sugar, cloves, that's gonna bring out so much different, beautiful, warm, Christmassy flavors. And of course, a staple in almost any Jamaican household, scotch bonnet pepper, minced up nicely. Seeds and all, we're gonna pack a little heat in this. We're gonna mix this all up and we're gonna cook this down on the stove. All right, let's get to it. So we have our cornstarch and our water. What we're going to do is make a slurry. Slurry is basically what most chefs use or anybody in the kitchen uses to thicken any sauce. So we're just mixing all that up, waiting on our sorrel mixture to bo bubble or boil. <laughs> we're waiting on our sorrel mixture to boil to add this to it so that it can get a nice, thick, shiny consistency. All right, we just made our sour glaze. Now it's time to bake our chicken. We're going to evenly lay out our chicken breast on our baking sheet that we have here. We want to ensure that it has space. All right, so we're gonna spread these out. It's gonna bake on a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes covered, right? So after laying our chicken breast, you know, we gotta get all fancy with it. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna put this one on a separate tray, but we're gonna cover this with some foil. Place this in the oven for 10 minutes on 375 degrees, and then we'll get to the next step. Be right back. Back again, and our chicken has been in the oven for 10 minutes. Let's see how it looks under this. We're gonna gently take off our foil, and I know some of you watching are just like, but that's not ready. This is exactly how we want it. 10 minutes at 375 degrees, we're about to glaze it with our sorrel glaze for five minutes on broil. So let's get this glaze on the chicken, and the glaze, it's delicious. I don't say so myself, but it's delicious. So we're gonna generously add a lot of, we're gonna put a lot of glaze on this because we want to get a nice crisp brown on the chicken. Now we're just gonna drop this back in the oven uncovered, on broil for about five minutes and it's gonna get nice and brown and beautiful. So let's get this in the oven so we can get to tasting how this is gonna be. Look at this. It smells delicious. You can smell the cloves, the high viscous or sorrel, and it just looks beautiful and brown and it's perfect. 
Make this at home for Christmas. Let's try to bring a difference to the table. I'm sure your family or just yourself would love this.